This article coming from the Jerusalem Post. Hezbollah MP says only $9 billion is needed to destroy Israel. The resistance only needs $9 billion and there will be nothing left called Israel in the region, said Mohammed Rad, the head of the Hezbollah parliamentary bloc in the Lebanese parliament. The Islamic Republic of Iran, the world's worst state sponsor of terrorism as defined by the U.S. State Department, is the main financier of Lebanese terrorist organization Hezbollah. Rad also said that $900 billion was spent to destroy Yemen during the unfolding civil war. Let's turn to the Bible to see what it has to say. Genesis 12, the call of Abram. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Speaking of Israel, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Psalm 122 Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. Psalm 9 The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. And lastly, Jesus' words about this time period in Matthew 24. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. No matter what terrorist organization comes against Israel, Israel will always prevail. And whether or not you believe the current country of Israel isn't the same as the Israel of ancient times, God still has his hand in all the events that are happening around Israel and in Israel. So keep watching, family, because today is biblical.